slot A is in slot B and you can see the threads have not begun to show yet. I'll have to keep turning until we can we can put the nut on right here. If I can beat this hellacious storm that may be bearing down on us. But as I turn the handle, you can see that the threads will begin to show right here. And all you want to do is to damn it. I keep all this in focus. Is to get to where there is no more tension on as as I turn, and that that means that the clutch is bottomed out. A few more turns, or the or the uh, pulley it will be seated with the clutch. A couple more turns, I think. We're almost there. And what this does is this lets you put the, the nut on right here without having to fight everything. That's why it's called a cage. It's so it holds the, the whole under pressure deal. Okay, now it's, it's bottomed out right here. So then all we do is turn it this way, take the nut, You want to screw it on hand tight, as tight as you can get it. And after we after we get this on hand tight, like this right here, then it probably will only only be t tightened up another quarter of an inch with uh, the wrench when I get to that. After we do that, we come back, turn the take the pressure off the clutch and this uh, I believe also works for a ruckus or no it works for ruckus but it also works for go-karts things like that and all you do is lift up and voila as French would say there is a brand new clutch spring in a nice clean clutch assembly and now all I have to do is put this on board put the wrench on it like this use my hammer over there and tighten this up and now we're getting all kinds of crap in the air and everything and maybe it's about time to for Elvis to depart the building because this is bullshit oh I heard some uh, thunder over here So we'll cut this short just for a little while. I'm going to put this way before it rains on it.